solve with the quadratic formula for x, of course. x squared plus 7x plus 10 equals 0. And I'm just going to start by writing down a, b, and c. So a in this case is just going to be 1 because there's a hidden 1 there. b is 7, c is 10. Okay, so let's get started. We can plug all these guys into the quadratic formula. So negative b is negative 7. It's always nice to put brackets around the numbers when we plug them in. Plus or minus root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so that's just going to simplify to negative 7. We can break the brackets there. 7 squared is 49. Negative 4 times 1, negative 4. Negative 4 times 10, negative 40. All over 2 times 1, which is just 2. Then over here, we get negative 7 plus or minus the root of 49 minus 40, which is just 9, of course, over 2. So negative 7 plus or minus 3, because, of course, that's the, the root of 9, over 2. And we're going to have two solutions, of course. Negative 7 plus 3, all over 2, which will give us negative 4 over 2, which is equal to negative 2. And down at the bottom, we have negative 7 minus 3, negative 10. Actually, I'm going to go step by step here. So everyone can see it. Negative 10, all over 2, of course, which is negative 5. That's it. So x is going to be equal to negative 2, comma, negative 5. There you go.